Okay, so first off, if I mess up, I'm gonna always come back to you guys and I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what I messed up on and I'm gonna try to fix it. With that being said, it's Average Tech Guy and today I finally got the right piece. Let's check it out. So I came at you guys with the previous video and basically I was saying that, so there we go. Um, I've had 10.5 pro users. You are going to have to stick with these, your SD cards and your micro SD cards. If you want to transfer data using iPad OS, you're going to have to stick with those. Seems like those are going to be the only ones that work because the lightning adapter or the lightning port is not strong enough to deal with some of our larger devices. So I'd like to know your thoughts on this. If you know of anything that will work, that will transfer USB type C data over to our lightning port, hit me up and let me know. I'll get the item. I'll try it out. I'll show everybody. But for right now, the verdict is in on my side. We will not be able to use our USB type C devices. But remember, I did say if anybody knew of a device or an accessory that would allow us to do this to let me know. Is that not correct? It is correct. And a lot of you guys let me know. Now I got this in the mail uh, almost a day after I did that video. Um, I had already looked into it, had already did a little bit of research and I wanted to try it out. Now I go out, I buy these products, I buy these accessories so that I can give you guys the average consumer I'm giving you guys a heads up so you don't have to go out and waste your money. You can get it right the first time. So that's what I'm here for. So with that being said, this is the official lightning to USB three camera adapter by Apple. This is the only adapter that will work that will allow you to use your USB, your USB type C devices, with your lightning adapter now key is you have to have this plugged into power which i have a lightning cable back here and you have to go out and pay 32 more dollars yes this thing costs you about 32 bucks but you have to have a power source and you got to pony up 32 more dollars with that being said let's go ahead and try this out because this is what people have been waiting on so first off, you got to get a power supply going to it. And that cord is going to be stretched a little thin back there. There we go. Got it plugged in. Now, since we have it plugged in, um, I'm not worried about all that. It says something about an update. Uh, I have one and two right here. Solid state drives, one by SanDisk, one by Samsung. We're going to just try both of these out just to make sure that we are working. And then I'm going to use a USB type A flash drive just to show you guys that it is working i'm not here to take up too much of your time just want to come back at you and let you know that this does work so here we go plugging in over here got a power source and i'm going into files and here we go extreme ssd right there um, now movies i have no movies on here i have a document documents are move that out of the way all you gotta do is hit select hit that and if you want to duplicate hit duplicate it'll actually make another one now let's say i want to actually copy one to the ipad itself i'm going to hit move and where do i want to move it to on my ipad i'm just going to hit copy come out here to my ipad and there it is let's say i want to send this over to the drive hit that hit move find where I want it. I'm going to put it in documents, hit copy, go back to extreme SSD documents. And there it is. So back and forth does work. Now let's try this. I'm going to take this one out and put another one on. So now I have the Samsung T5 connected and there it is right there on the screen. Samsung T5 got it. Now, since we know that documents and stuff will go back and forth, pictures will go back and forth, I'm going to play a movie. I'm gonna pick a movie at random. I'm just gonna stream it over um, something that I have on that disc. And it is streaming, it is playing. 
I don't want to play too much because of copyright issues, but it will stream directly over from that um, SSD device. And then let's see, we are going to pause that. We are going to take that very same movie and we are going to move it over to the iPad and we are going to create a file and call it movies. And I'm going to move it to that movie file and it's spinning it's spinning. And I just want to see about a rough estimate of how long this is going to take to do. So the time is now 808 and it took less than a minute. We're going to go back to the iPad, go to movies and it should be there and we should be able to stream it. There we go. So the moving of files works, the moving of photos works and the moving of movies will work on this adapter right here. Now, since somebody is going to ask, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We know that the USB type C devices are working with this accessory. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the plain old standard USB thumb drive and wait for it and wait for it. There we go. Pops up. There's nothing on this one, but it does pop up and it is visible. So we know that it will work with iPad OS and the 10.5 iPad Pro with the lightning adapter. So this time we actually got it right, guys. This is the lightning to USB 3 camera adapter. You're going to be able to connect cameras. And I'm, I wasn't worried about so much cameras. I was worried about my USB type C devices being able to be connected. So we know that they will be able to work. We will be able to use them. You got power pass through. You got USB type A and you got a lightning adapter right here. You have to have power connected to this. Let me just show you because I did not do that part. You do have to have power connected. I'm going to plug this back up. Just one at random. Plug that back in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the power away. And it disappears. So you have to have power going to this in order for it to work. So I'll drop a link below so you can go and check this out. This is about 32 bucks. You can pick it up on Amazon. But I'll leave that link below so you can do so. Until next time, be sure you give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.